Hello everyone. In this video I will check out Luther's Chit Chat, a Bernoulli's gate module, similar to mutable instruments branches. However, Luther's design is made using only discrete logic and analog circuits, which is really cool. I got in contact with Luther on Christian Blåsol's Discord, and we have swapped a couple of pieces back and forth. By the way, this is a great way of sharing designs and expanding both your own knowledge and also your case with new modules. Luther has a GitHub with a lots of interesting information and excellent documentation of the modules that he have designed. Okay, so while I was waiting for the PCBs to show up in the mail, I started to source the components. I had most of them in stock already, but uh, one of the ICs needs to be of a specific type, a HEF4093. I ordered that from DigiKey together with some other components, which turned up a couple of days later looking like this. Yeah, that was a bit uh, disappointing and interesting at the same time. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> But after filing a complaint, new goods were sent with Express Courier the day after. So all is good. The design uses SMT components for the most part, which is right in my comfort zone. The PCB looks really nice and the rest of the components are more or less standard in the DIY community. So I was ready to get started with the build right away. Looter have also provided an interactive bomb, an iBomb, which makes the build super easy. So, I started the build by populating the component side with all SMT components, in the same way that I do with my own designs. Starting with the semiconductors and continuing with capacitors and resistors. I had to struggle a little bit with the SMT electrolytic capacitor for the power rail on the top side of the PCB, but I got that sorted in the end. After that, it was time to mount all the through hole parts, and I used the panel to align everything properly. One thing to note is that the power connector have the red stripe located upwards and there is not room for a boxed header, so watch out for that. There are, however, Schottky diodes in series with the power rail for reverse polarity protection, so nothing will break if it's turned the wrong way. After some smoke testing and checking the power consumption, it's was time to calibrate it. There is a detailed step-by-step -step instruction on the GitHub and the trimming pot is conveniently placed so you can reach it from the front panel using a small screwdriver. The channel A is normaled to channel B, but if you insert a jack into the channel B gate input, you will get two separate probability gates. There are a lot of videos on YouTube on how to use a probability gate, so I won't go into any detailed patches. But since this is a hardware-only design, one of the benefits is that it can run at audio rate, or beyond. In this demo I have connected one channel so it skips clocks to the sequencer based on the probability knob. The other channel is used for audio rate modulation, where I connect one oscillator to the gate input and the second oscillator to the CV input. The outputs 1 and 2 are connected to left and right channel. I hope that you found this video interesting and uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode or maybe on a Discord server near you.